Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So we're just going to jump right into it. It's just going to be a collective reading for whoever needs to hear the message. So messages for the collective, please. What is it that they need to know for their highest good? One card, please. Oh my hat. Okay, Ace of Crystals. Wow, awesome, awesome energy to start off with. So, Ace of Crystals is brand new beginnings, obviously, being the Ace. And it is also a new beginning in the financial realm or the material realm. So, this could be a house move for some of you. It could be a lump sum of money. It's a new opportunity that is being handed to you by the universe that is going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. Okay, so this is a fantastic, fantastic card to be starting off with. So the beginning of prosperity is what, is what this card is telling us. All right. So, brand new beginnings, brand new adventures that you're going on. Okay, so let's continue now. And see what other messages we can get for you. Right, what is this brand new beginning all about? Okay, we're not doing reversals today. So something has come to a complete ending here with the death card. You've been feeling very trapped within a situation. This could have to do with a friendship, okay, uh, or even a love partnership that perhaps is over now. Let's just put those there. Which perhaps is over <clears throat> because you've been feeling trapped in this situation. Okay, so let's just see where this is going. We have the Queen of Swords under the deck, so... Yeah, this is someone who has made, you've made a decision to cut something out of your life and end something here. I'm almost seeing the sword cutting through the ropes to free yourself here. All right. So, and, and go on this brand new adventure and beginning. So, I really think this is awesome. So, let's just get some clarifiers, please. Let's get some more info for you guys. So, so far to the point, you know, an ending because you've been feeling trapped within a situation. We're having arguments coming out. So this is petty arguments. It could be competition even in the workplace. But uh, this looks like it's between two people that are quite close. So as I say, it could be a close friendship or it could be a uh, love partnership where there have been these arguments, petty arguments going on and conflicts. You've been feeling trapped in this situation. And that is why it's coming to an end, because of these petty conflicts that have been going on. Okay. Right. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, please, guys. I really appreciate all of you who comment on the videos and all of you who have liked the videos and subscribed to the channel. It really does help my channel to grow. Right, more info please. Okay, yeah, you've been spending a lot of time alone here. All right, possibly because you've been feeling trapped in this situation. Um, going within and just trying to shed some light on this issue. 
that's going on in your life. So then you have the star card. So that's absolutely gorgeous because this is saying that there is healing taking place and there is hope for the future. So I'm just going to cover this for our YouTube. Um, it's saying to me that you are healing. You've gone within after these conflicts. You've gone within to shed some light on these troubles. And you are now healing from this. And perhaps there was a tower moment that came in because the tower card comes before the star card. And the tower card is all about that sudden unexpected chaos that kind of breaks everything down and shakes everything up. And then comes the star, which is all the healing that takes place after that. But I really like to see the star card which is just showing me that you are now going to be following that, your wishes, your North Star. You are going to um, heal from this whole situation and move on to something brand new and exciting with that Ace of Crystals there. So that's awesome, awesome, awesome. So it's all about basically healing after some traumatic event that has taken place, which is the Tower, as I was saying. And it really looks like something traumatic must have taken place. Because even though these are petty arguments, it has caused an ending. A complete ending with the death card there. So now you are healing from these traumatic events that have taken place. Okay. And uh, there is this hope for the future now. There's a beautiful sense of hope and your wishes being granted. So, beautiful card to end off with, beautiful note to end off with there. So, let's get some more info. So, quite a basic story going on here. Leave me a comment if it's resonating with you at all. Let's uh, get some more info now with these cards. There's definitely transformation taking place in your life as well with that rainbow in that Ace of Crystals card. If that is a new home, then some of you could be moving to the country. I'm seeing mountains with all that countryside and mountains. So it could be somewhere out in nature. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups that has fallen on the floor here. So here again, this is uh, friendships. So this could have uh, had something to do with uh, friendship. So let's just pop that over there. Alternatively, this could also be your friends helping you out here in this situation there could be three people in particular so if this is not who you have been having altercations with then this is your friends coming to help you in this situation so let's just carry on i'm seeing the ten of cups under the deck so this could even be family that's coming to help you guys Okay, I'm going to pop that card over there. But the Ten of Cups is really all about happiness. It's also wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, and it could indicate family as well, good family relations. So possibly these could be even siblings, something like that. For some of you, let's continue and just get a bit more information here. The Three of Cups can also be celebrations. So there may be something you are celebrating amongst siblings or amongst friends. 
something to do with family and children, perhaps, for some of you. There is definitely a situation that you are leaving behind. So you may even find that these siblings or friends help you move to your new beginning here. It's looking like there is family. You know, I'm seeing this as family with the Ten of Cups and the children here. Just hope you can see this card. It's just so beautiful. It really is so beautiful. And I'm just next to this one. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So in both of these cards, we have the rainbow. So there is massive transformation in this new beginning for you. And it looks like it's going to bring you a lot of stability, abundance, security, and family support. All right. So I'm loving this with the two rainbows in these cards. It's just such a sense of joy, happiness, color, you know. It's giving me a really good feeling with these two cards over here, and especially next to the star card here. So really nice. Yeah, this may even indicate that somebody is going to come that is close to you, come and help you through this ending that has taken place. Because to me, uh, I'm getting two stories. I'm getting an ending in a relationship or a friendship. And I'm also getting family or friends helping you through a situation. Helping you to move on. You know, with the Six of Swords, this is a card of leaving your troubles behind. And moving on. So it definitely could be a physical move that you guys are doing. But usually there's someone in the boat in the traditional deck with her. And helping her. And in this card we've got the birds that are pulling the boat along. So it kind of indicates that there is help available to you. And with these three cards it just looks like there is family support coming in for you to help you with this move away from the conflict okay so i really like this so far underneath the deck oh wow underneath the deck we have the page of pentacles so another you know this is also a brand new opportunity we've got the the one pentacle here and the one pentacle here, it's like the pentacle is being offered to you. There's an opportunity, there's a new opportunity that you are going to take and move towards. So it very well could be a home move for a lot of you. So let's put that over there and cover our little star card. And then, of course, what do we have right here but the star card again? So, I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is really just coming in twice to say, yes, your wishes are going to come true. There is going to be hope after this traumatic event, and there is going to be healing for you here. This is a really, really gorgeous set of cards that are coming out after this conflict that's gone on and couldn't even get any better but then you have the nine of pentacles so this is going to your um, new home it's financial independence she really is uh, uh, languishing in her luxury there she's got everything she needs she's usually someone who is single so it could have been a relationship that ended for some of you, a love relationship. But there she is. She's smiling. She's happy. She's growing her herbs in her home. She's really got everything she needs. She's independent, standing on her own two feet and 
making her own way through the world quite happily. All right, so let's take those out. I hope you can see these on the camera. Uh, let's just move this over a little bit. So that we can fit things in. So it looks like you, whoever this is for has been going through something here. Um, going through something hard with all these conflicts and feeling trapped. And you've been feeling alone. But there is such hope and healing coming in after this. And as I said, these two cards are just giving me such a happy sense of All good things, <laughs> you know, just good things coming to you here. And with the star card twice, some of you might even be in the spotlight. But there is this brand new opportunity that you are moving towards. And she's got it back towards the fighting there or the arguments or the competition. It could even be competition in a workplace. Um... For a few of you. But she's got her back to the conflict. She is traveling, moving forward towards this new opportunity where her wishes are going to come true. And she's going to find huge, huge happiness here in this new beginning. And of course, Financial independence. All right. So I am seeing a new home for a lot of you. Sorry, I don't think you can see that properly. My camera, my uh, filming skills need a bit of attention. <laughs> okay, so moving towards your wishes coming true, big, big happiness, brand new beginnings that are going to lead to financial independence for you guys. So, I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful reading. Okay, so I think... Is there anything else you want to tell our collective spirit about this reading? Because to me, it seems pretty straightforward here. So I'm not sure if I actually... Oh my gosh, okay, you see... All these cards are just coming out to clarify what we've read. So yes, you know, I don't think I'm going to pull any more after this because there you go. It's just coming in to clarify. Yes, there have been these arguments. They perhaps even, I said I wouldn't pull more, but there you go. Perhaps there has even been somebody doing something behind your back that is a little bit sneaky. Um... And, you know, I've got the moon coming out twice here. Well, we've got the full moon here and we've got the full moon here. So something could have happened over this Aries full moon that we've just had. I think it was an Aries full moon. I'm not 100% sure. Um, something may have happened over that full moon that ended, kind of, culminated in these arguments and ended things. And then for some of you, this may even be happening over the eclipse that's coming up. I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not sure exactly when it's happening, but I know there is an eclipse this month. So it just looks like something untoward has been going on in the shadows here with all this arguments and things being hidden. You know, it looks like things are hidden under the surface. Things have been done behind your back. Um, sneaky stuff going on in the dark. And I think you are now moving away from all of this now. Knight of Swords under the deck. You are rushing away from it. So let's just put these cards up there. So this is why 
the situation has ended. But what's coming in for you is what I think you need to focus on here. Because as I said, there is so much amazing stuff that is coming in for you. It really looks like you are going to be financially stable with all these pentacle uh, cards here. And just emotionally so fulfilled. So whatever's taken place here, it's time to leave that behind. The cards are saying. Okay, yeah, oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't pick any more because, you know, it looks like there has been betrayal here or, you know, it doesn't have to be betrayal, but with these cards here, it could very well be and just an ending that has been really hard. And she is now walking towards the sun. She's walking towards the light. So it's over. Okay, whatever's happened here is now over and you moving away. Oh my gosh, it really looks like some heavy things have been taking place here, guys. I don't know who's been going through this, but with the Five of Swords here as well, and with the Seven of Swords, I mean, when you see those two cards together, you just know that there is a tricky person in your midst that is doing something hidden. There's something hidden going on here that they're doing behind your back. I mean, there's too many cards here not to see that. There's arguments this is the thief card trickery this is someone that wants to really get one up on you this is betrayal this is things being hidden you know so you know there, there's just something very hectic that has caused this ending in your life okay so then we have the Eight of Wands coming up. I'm just going to take that last one. And that is really positive for me to come after all these cards. Just also color-wise, I'm seeing that rainbow again. You know, things are moving swiftly now. Perhaps there's been a lot of communication going on in this argument, argumentative situation. Could be the case. Um, a lot of back and forth communication. And then for others of you, this can also indicate travel and just things moving quickly. You know, this is the arrows. Usually it's kind of, you know, they're coming down, those ones, moving very fast, very swiftly. All right. So I think, oh my God, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. But the next card out is the sun. So yay. Thank you for that spirit because let's just cover all those dark cards there. Because that seems to be over now. With the Ten of Swords there, it's over and done with. Right. Um, and you're moving into the sun energy now, which is one of the best cards in the deck. It is happiness. It is sunshine. It is warmth. It is confidence. It is being out in the light. It is also truths coming out. So whatever has been hidden here in this moon card and the sneaky stuff that's been going on, it is going to come to light. The truth will come out. You know, I'm getting that the truth will set you free here. And there she is in freedom. Okay, she's not uh, drowning in her emotions anymore. So there could be some communication that comes in suddenly and just changes everything here for you. Truths may come to light. And it really does look like it is pushing you into this beautiful energy of financial independence and this new beginning, which I'm just seeing a lot of happiness, a lot of financial security, a lot of wishes coming true. Um, after this very dark time that it looks like you've been going through. Okay. So, oh my God, it really does look like you guys have been going through a little bit of heartache there. So, if you are still going through this, just know that the sun is going to come out soon. Things are going to change. All right. I think there is going to be help of some kind coming in for you guys. And this new opportunity 
which really looks like it's got the potential to bring you a lot of abundance and success and security with all these gorgeous cards over here. So just know if this reading is resonating for you or with you, the things are going to change. And I'm just seeing whatever has sort of felt so dark and depressing in those cards. There's going to be so much light and color coming into your life again, which is going to bring you so much excitement and joy. And I am seeing, uh, I'm seeing uh, fame and fortune, really, for a lot of you. Because we've got the Sun card here and the Star card twice. And the Sun and the Star together can really indicate that fame and fortune coming out into the light, being seen, um, really shining brightly. And with all these Pentacle cards here and this emotional bliss, um, it just looks like for some of you there could be a bit of fame and fortune going on or coming in for you. So, I mean, that's absolutely awesome. I'm loving where this reading is going here. Okay, so let's see what else can we pick for you guys. Let's pick... Let's pick an angel card for you. Any more messages, please, for our collective watching? Okay, we have Archangel Michael. You're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through the situation. So there you go. You've got this protection around you. Um, who's protecting you from this energy that's blocking your sun. So you can also just call upon Archangel Mike and ask him to shield you and protect you with his blue cloak of protection and his sword of truth. I'm seeing that sword of truth. There's definitely a truth that's going to come out into the light. Things are going to be known as to what's been going on here. But Archangel Michael is a great one to call upon. Okay, so... Let's pick. So that's good to know that there is protection for you. If any of you were worried about this. Let's get an um, Atlantis card. We haven't had one of those for a while. We haven't picked one of those for a while. So we'll pick an Atlantis card and then we'll get a crystal card for you guys. So don't click off just yet if you're still here so for the messages please hi priestess intuition this is the card of feminine power and wisdom do not rely on logic or rational thought at this time if you chose the high priestess you are called on to use your intuition and your psychic gifts. Respond to challenges from your deepest knowing, for the answers lie within. You are reminded to work with total integrity and compassion. So access your wisdom and listen to your intuition. So that another very pertinent message for um, all of this that, that we've got in the reading. So in order to get through this challenge, you need to follow your intuition, any psychic hunches that you may get. You need to work in integrity and have compassion in the situation. Okay. So really, really beautiful, these two cards. All right, so let's get a crystal card now for you guys, just to finish off this reading. So one last message, please, to finish off this reading. 
This Ace of Crystals is really just giving me such an excited feeling. It's beautiful with these three cards over here. So, you know, okay, I'm going to take these two. So we have Moonstone. What an absolutely beautiful card. Just have a look at that. Moonstone and Blue Lace Agate. So Moonstone, I mean, we've now got the moon three times. So this very well could have happened over the last full moon that we've just had. Or, you know, we've literally just had it now the last, I think, four days ago. Or this could have something to do with something that's going to happen on the eclipse. All right. And it says, I am at ease with the cycles of this life. So you are, you're going through a cycle, you're ending a cycle, you know, we've got death card there. So something is coming to an end and uh, a new cycle is beginning for you. So I am at ease with the cycles of this life. If you'd like to screenshot that, you can go ahead. That is really, really beautiful, you know, with Let's pop that underneath the moon. This moon also with the high priestess, you know, is uh, also all about those psychic gifts. But there is definitely, I'm getting a sense here, that there is definitely with the high priestess and the moon and these two uh, sneaky cards underneath the sun, there definitely has been something hidden from you. Somebody is doing something in the shadows without a doubt in my mind here and it's going to come to light there is going to be a truth that's going to come out about whatever's been going on here and it's going to come to a complete end and you're going to move on to this new beginning all right so blue lace agate i express my emotions freely so maybe there's something you need to speak here there might be something that needs to be expressed for some of you. So let's just get one more. That moonstone is standing out to me so brightly with those three moons there. So it definitely could be, I've got the sun and the moon. This definitely could be something happening over the eclipse if it hasn't had. You know, I've only just noticed that now with the sun and the moon. So yes, I'm seeing something happening over the eclipse and I don't know when it is. There's a lot of night sky stuff happening here. We've got the sun, we've got the moon, we've got the star. It's a lot of celestial stuff happening. Maybe some of you need to talk to your star family. A lot of celestial stuff happening, but there's definitely a big truth coming out, and I'm seeing the eclipse here. If it hasn't happened already, then, yeah, it, something is going to happen over the eclipse, definitely. So, any more messages, please? Oh, that one seems to want to come out. All right, so, I, Apophilite, I remain connected to my spiritual self. So, that's the High Priestess coming in again. So let's just pop that one over there. So really, this is quite spiritual and quite celestial. And you guys might be quite psychic as well. Connection to the heavens is happening here for me. And a connection to your spiritual side. So a lot of you could be really psychic out there or in tune with your intuitive side so big message to follow your intuition 
don't let illusions trap you. Remain connected to spirit. Stay in the light. But we did have the Hermit card as well. And the High Priestess is also someone who stays alone. The Hermit is also someone who stays alone. So... There's a lot to do with kind of accessing that kind of spiritual wisdom in those times. It's also very feminine energy, this moon. But I really am seeing something happening either, as I said, on the full moon that's passed or the eclipse that's coming. Big truths are going to come to light. You're moving away from all this stuff, all the arguments, and new opportunities are coming in for you. And you're going to have such emotional fulfillment from this. Healing is going to take place. You're going to be financially secure, independent, and I am seeing a new home for a lot of you. All right. So I think I'm going to end it there for you guys. This moonstone is really popping out to me. So, yeah, I hope this has been helpful to some of you out there. And I wish you all well. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.